Hello friends, welcome to Abhi's vlog. So today, I like to give you some very important updates regarding the H1B result, like H1B lottery updates. And if you like to transfer your visa from one employer to another employer, okay? So very simple process. So you know that today is like the 31st and today you should be knowing that you have been picked up by the lottery or not. Call your employer, your employer is going to be the best person to tell you, yes, your lottery has been picked up so you can get ready with your bag and baggage, get the visa interview done and fly back to United States, okay? That is that simple. I can tell you, that's very simple. But today, i like to give you some one more information ahead of time that's regarding the H1B transfer. Let me tell you, H1B transfer is nothing but a brand new H1B process, okay? So, but on top of that, you need to get some more information, see how I can help you, okay? So when you are in the one employer and working in the United States for let's see couple of years and now you do not like this your current employer and you like to move to a new employer situation change so that can be happening you promise your old employer that I'll be with you for whole three years but in the meantime you change your mind or, or okay for a family condition situation change so you like to transfer your um, H1B visa one employer to another employer just giving you quick updates just listen and watch the whole video okay yes I am outside as I promise I'll be giving you the updates about the H1B process and the American lifestyle obviously I realize outside is better so every single day I can update you on the process okay so when you transfer one employer to another employer first of all you need pay stuff the reason why I'm telling you need a pay stuff is USCIS like to know you are in status or not Remember, if you are not in status in United States, your H-1B is not valid. In status means your employer, your current employer is always paying you. Does not matter you have the project or not, your employer should be paying you every single month or every single bi-weekly paycheck. Anyway, the contracted hours, contracted amount, you should be getting paid. So you work or you no work, it does not matter. You have the project or you are on bench, you should be getting paid by your employer. That is the thing, okay? So you should be having the pay staff every single month. Let's say your employer paying every single, uh, uh, every two hours in a week, so bi-weekly, most common American employer, they does that. So you should be getting all the pay, pay staff. So USCIS wanna know last three month pay staff. So they can ask you, they can definitely put a RFE, like request for more evidence, and they can say okay give me last one year pay stuff they can ask you but initially they're going to be telling you a couple of things i can tell you just watch out okay entire video they will be asking you three month of pay stuff they will be asking you the bona fide job letter that job letter gonna be telling the new employer has contract with you for next one year or so much so many months and you should be getting paid so much amount say let's say your employer new employer is going to hire you for one year and he is contracting you for 150,000 per year so you should be getting 150,000 that's the case okay that's the thing and what USCIS is going to be asking you when you are transferring uh, to the new employer they will be asking you the LCA they will be asking all sort of your document like your uh, passport number your uh, existing visa your existing bona fide job letter like you have a you was working in India last five years you are in US for last two years and that two years your current employer should be giving you a bona fide letter like okay Avi is a good uh, good employee and Avi has done so much so much work in that city okay let's see I'm in Chicago Illinois so I'll be getting all the stuff all the paper for from my employer also the pay stuff and very important thing, USCIS wants your end client letter, very important. End client letter is such a letter like if you are working on the service level agreement company, SLA based company, means Tata Consulting Service, Wipro, TCA, uh, uh, Wipro, Cognizant or any these kinds of company because they are the um, 
like the end employer's agreement with the assignment so but they are not the end employer so in that case the your end employer need to give you the bona fide um, job letter like the end client letter that end client letter should be telling how many months you are, are going to have the project that bona fide job letter not going to be telling how much you're going to be paid and the stuff it is the agreement to your employer to the end client that's it that kinds of letter you need otherwise you're not going to be getting a actual uh, job transfer like the h1 transfer nowadays you'll be getting a rfe you might be getting a rfe for many reasons you might be getting a rfe because they uh, want to know like you have done your bachelor or not uh, in United States or you have done your bachelor in India or Bangladesh or any country or you have the IT background related uh, background or not let's say you are going to uh, perform the development job like IT development job or the QA, uh, um, QA automation test engineer job they like to know you have a previous experience or relevant um, universities degree they can ask you that on top of that that you cannot prepare that document is the end client letter without the end client letter nowadays it's very hard people cannot get any kinds of like h1 transfer now the last thing i like to tell you see there is two way to start working for your new h1b employer who is going to transfer your visa number one way is they will be like the new employer will be filing for the H1 transfer and within one day you will be getting a receipt notice. Receipt notice is same as I-797 document. With that document you can start working to your new employer. Do you understand what I'm telling? You can start working to your new employer within a one day because your new employer need to file for the new H1B like H1B transfer and as soon as you get the receipt number you can start working for the new company. Number two process is H1B transfer is fully done, complete and then you are going to join your new employer. Both the options are there. Option number one is you can start early. Option number two is you have to wait till the H1B process is done. The problem I like to discuss with you is if you are choosing the first method like as soon as the H1B receipt number is done then if you start working for the new employer then the, there is a one problem I'm telling you in case the new H1B transfer is denied then you will be out of status you have to fly back to India you cannot correct that okay because you already start working for your new employer and and things are like after four or five months you know like h1b transfer is denied now you are out of status for certain amount of period if you are out of status for let's say three months you'll be banned for some time if you are out of status for a one year you'll be banned for 10 years so do not get out of status for any reason so my suggestion to you is get the lottery result fly back to America, fly uh, like welcome aboard to America and happily uh, start working for your new uh, for your employer, current employer and by chance if you do not like your new employer then transfer your current H1B to a new H1B employer but wait till the full picture. Do not jump by the trailer. Do you understand why I'm telling? I'm making this blog just to make sure you are on the right process. There is a rule that you can start working for your new employer which is a H1B transfer by the receipt notice. But my suggestion, I have seen many of my friends, their H1B transfer is denied my friend. At first they send a RFE letter, after that they said, I'm not, we are not happy USCIS say, we are not happy your H1B is denied. So you have very limited option on that time. Uh, but in that time if you like to stay this country only the option is to go back to your previous employer so that is a very critical thing and the stuff but what I'm telling you wait till the whole transfer process is done then join to your new employer okay 
uh, thanks a lot for watching if you like my this critical video today um, this was a little critical for a h1b but i like to make the video very easy so that you understand and you are not going by the any trap and you like to i want your life to be very easy okay and if you like my video please uh, put the likes button and subscribe my channel bye bye god bless welcome to aboard america bye